Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here. I've had a lot of people ask me for a fleet update. One, two, three, four, more there and more there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cars that Monkey Wrench Mike was brilliant enough to buy. How many remember this car? Yeah, you remember this one? Yeah, this I think is an 05. Look at this, little Beamer, okay, with a little bit of damage. Okay, we do have a new fender. We've already purchased that. I am looking for a front bumper, okay, and I don't know if I need a radiator. I might just need a radiator. And I don't know why this is like that. Why is that like that? That's kind of weird. Okay, so let's get in this one. We'll see how she does. We'll show you the inside. I haven't touched this one. I've had my focus on other cars. So let's just see how she does. Okay, I hope this is the right key. It is. Okay, just like that. Just like that, she's good to go. We got a lot of trash right here, but I have purchased another mirror. Okay, these are receipts. I got lots of receipts. I got a little manual. How about that? Okay, and this car is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little car. Okay, let's take a look at this a little bit more. Okay, see that one, see that one? Okay, there we go, let's move on. Next up is Millie. Okay, this is my father's car that I brought back to life, 1975 MG Midget. I'm so sorry that she has to stay outside for a little while. She's missing the side mirror. I took that off because it was wobbly loose. I didn't want to lose it, but she is a fun, 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 fun little car. Look how cute she is, okay? Let's get inside and we'll give her a little start. I haven't been inside this for a while, so this could take a little while. I want to show you how much room there is. See how roomy it is in here? Yeah, this is great. Ooh. Okay. Now, for all of us old timers, you remember what this is? Yeah. This is the choke. Yeah, you got to put that on so you can start the car. Let me get the little bitty key. And look how close I am. Yeah, you don't get much room here. You hear that? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we may need a battery jump. Let's save the little battery that we have, turn off the radio, and give her a little jump. Oh, 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 come on, y'all know you want to do it. Yeah, look, look, look. Oh, she's going to start this time. I know she's going to start. Oh, 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 oil pressure, come on up. You know you want to. Look at that. Yeah, let's leave the choke on. And we're just going to let her idle. We're just going to let her idle a little bit. Okay, hopefully the emergency brake is enough to keep her from rolling. And I put the towels on the seats just so they don't get faded. Okay? But look how cute! You want to see the engine? You want to see how little it is? We can do that too. All right. All right. Teeny tiny wheels, teeny tiny engine, and she needs to get washed. Okay. Sorry about the camera work. Sorry about the camera work. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. look how little bitty. Look how little bitty. And we've MacGyvered something right there too. If you have an MG, yeah, sometimes the carb overheats. So what you do is you buy a paint tray, an aluminum paint tray, and you make a little heat shield. Yeah, isn't that brilliant? Yep, this is my dad's car. He drove it forever and ever, and when he went away, when he went to the man upstairs, my brother had it, and it sat in his garage, and then I just kind of rescued it. I did. I rescued it. And she is a fun little car. Say hello 
to Millie. Millie, Millie, Millie. Next we have the mighty 1997 S500. Yes, the Princess Die car, yeah. Okay, this is a good car, except, except, remember that? Remember I got it all working and everything was good and then somebody smashed into me? Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, everything else seems to be in good condition. We'll give her a start and make sure that she is running and she's doing fine. I don't know about this gray on gray interior for some reason. I don't know. I love the smell. Love the smell. Okay, but this car idles so smoothly, so brilliantly. The only problem, she's stuck in limp mode. I'm getting the air message that says incorrect gear ratio. So I think she needs a transmission or yet another conductor plate. I just don't know. Okay, these are amazing cars. We're gonna let her idle too. You wanna see the back? Okay, look how much room you get back there. Yeah, super, super, super comfortable car. Look at that, okay. Needs to be cleaned. This has been out here for a while, okay. But, the W140, certainly something to have. Different wheels, don't hate me for the wheels because I have the monoblocks, I just took them off because I may be selling the S500. I might be selling it and I wanted to keep the wheels. Okay, remember dog squatting in woods? Yeah, this is the Crossfire, I mean this Mercedes, yeah. 2005, uh, maybe? This one was a lot of fun to put back together. Remember, because it had the wheel locks on it? Yeah. It had the wheel locks on it, which made it almost impossible to get those things off. One thing I am working on is the lower control arm because the tire's a little tight. It's a little tight right there. Um, I gotta get this thing all lined up, get a little lens for that, and she should be good to go. So let's open her up and we'll take her, well, we'll start her up. Okay, a lot of things we fixed on the inside of this car too. Still need to address this, but let's at least start it up and see how she's doing. All right, this is the manual. Yes, sir, Bob. I'm having an issue with this staying put. When I shift, <coughs> excuse me, it comes up, which makes me very unhappy. So I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here with this, because it is not staying put. Okay. And she is gonna be a good little car for somebody very, very soon. I think this is gonna be a good car. Like I said, manual, 187,000 miles. Engine just sounds good. New door card, new door handle. That one looks pretty good. I still need to kind of get in here and detail it a little bit and fix the tire. But this is a fun car. And who can forget grandma's car? We actually drove this one out here to check on these four lovely beauties. Okay, 99 E320 that is so peppy, it is so peppy, it is so much fun to drive. I love these cars, and if you haven't tried one yet, they last forever, forever and ever. These are great cars. You will get sometimes 30, 32 on the highway. I kid you not. Yeah, it's a V6. Very economical, economical, economical. However you wanna say it, that's it right there. The mighty grandma's car, and look who's inside. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Okay, this is a good car. Almost ready. We do have to fix the sunroof. See the sunroof sag? And I still can't get in the trunk. Still can't get into the trunk. But this car drives beautifully. And like I said, 
gets really good gas mileage. Okay. Look at that. So very easy to start, easy to drive. The steering is super light on this. I put a little steering wheel cover to cover up the rough spot. Remember how dirty that was? Yeah. Tell you what, a quick detail. This is Lola. You can thank Lola for that because that was beautiful. Thank you, Lola. Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the kisses. All right. Grandma's car looking good, driving even better. All right. Who wants to check out that car? Look at that car. Look at that car right there. Yeah, that's it. That's another one of the fleet. Let's go take it. It's the Bummer Beamer. Remember, remember the Bummer Beamer? Here in my secret location is the Bummer Beamer. All right, she is in a separate facility because she's so special. All right, doesn't she look good? These are wheels for an SEC. Yes, they are. But this is the Bummer Beamer that I have been collecting parts for. We got a box of parts. We have some headlights. Oh, ho, 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 ho. those are brake calipers. What's in the box? What's in the box? I don't know. You're going to have to wait. Look at that. I also have a bumper. Ooh, I got to move this for just a second. Okay. Now, as far as the bumper beamer goes, remember how much fun it was fixing that? Yes. That was so much fun. So I need a headlight, but I bought one. I need a bumper, but I bought one. I need a fender or have I bought one yet? I think I need a fender. I think I need a fender on this one. Um, and I need a windshield. I need a light. I need some magic to happen right there. And I need a whole lot of magic to happen all right through here. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about the, the wheels? I kind of like them with the black. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. So let's see. What's going to happen? Can we get it to start today? I don't know. Let's try it. Well, the battery, I think, is still connected. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here. When we insert the key into the key holder. Okay. Let's see. Nope. The battery's dead. Yep. The battery. Dag nabbit. The battery is dead. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see some of the bummer beamer issues okay it's going to be a fun little car it's just going to take a whole lot of work to make the bummer beamer better that's what the goal is the goal is to make the bummer beamer better let me see if i can show you some of that it's really dark in here it's a little dark more parts back there but this is going to be a fun 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 little beamer okay it's the 135i yeah, it's the 135i. See, look at that. Okay, but she does need some help and we're gonna give it to her. And for some reason, I guess this is already dead. Yeah, I think it's already dead. Dag nabbit. Okay, so I'll have to take that home and charge it up. How much fun is that? Okay, I do have another red connector for the top. It's in one of these boxes somewhere. But that's it, that's the Bummer Beamer. So many people have been asking about the Bummer Beamer. Here she is in her own secret location. And we're going to impress everybody now with a bumper on top of an entertainment center. Isn't that lovely? No. We're here. This is another car. This is the 9560 SEL. Still thinking of a name for this one, but she is currently under uh, doctor's care. No, we're trying to figure out why the idle is so bad on this car. So you guys and gals have seen this one. This is my baby. This is my beautiful baby. Isn't it gorgeous? Everything is in such good condition. The only issue is she just doesn't idle as well as she looks. And you see that the bolster right there where it's worn, I got a fix for that. There's a box in this garage somewhere in all of this mess. There is a box that will fix that right there that's a video to come but look how nice these seats are yeah is this not gorgeous you want to see the back okay we can do that as well let me show you what i like about the car because the back seats are separate and look at that they recline 
okay? Is that not beautiful? Okay, there's a towel right there, I'm sorry. I really didn't anticipate doing a video on my fleet, but I just had so many people ask to see all of these cars. Okay, look at the back. Look how lovely that is. Yeah, it's in really, 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 really good shape, okay? So this is the W126 560 SEL. This is the workhorse of the fleet, yep. The W163, this is the ML500. This is what I use for all of my stuff. She's not in the best shape on the inside, but she's pulled houses. She has pulled everything I've asked her to pull. I have asked her to pull a lot and she has done magnificently. I do wanna get another little, okay? We have some cracks right here. These little seats are easy to find on eBay, so I'm gonna go ahead and order another one of those. Show she looks a little better, okay? But this, these cars, for some reason, a lot of people don't like them. I love them because they just last forever. They'll get you wherever you want to go. Full-time four-wheel drive. And lots of room. Okay? This is the ML500, so it's the V8. This thing has pulled every other car that I've shown you home. Even the 560 SEL. Okay? Now this is what I'm working on right now to kind of show you. Right there, see, I do use her. I use her as I'm supposed to. I haul stuff with her. And look at the age of the tire. Oh, yeah. This is from the S500. I've, because I may sell that one, I've decided to keep these wheels right here. This wheel goes to another car. But take a look, okay? The ML500 with parts on the inside. Feast your eyes on that. Yes, my pretties. 1995-60 SEC. I had this car first before I bought the SEL, and I do love it. I do love it. Remember, we got the European headlights. I found those in a uh, junkyard. How much were they? Like $30 each, where they could be almost $900 for two online? Yes. Okay, she does have some issues. We do need to work on the paint. She needs a wash. She has new wheels that I'm going to put on her but the problem is I think she's been repainted because well that's all faded but we have some clear coat issues and I'm really disappointed okay see this here this is all bubbling this is kind of bubbling right here yeah unfortunately she may need a respray maybe on the top half maybe just on the top half but let me show you the inside because uh She's looking real good on the inside, as long as you don't look up. You don't want to look up. And here we go. Look at this. Beautiful. 173,000 miles on the clock. Like Randy at Auto Auction Rebuild says, interior is nice, is nice, is nice, is nice. And then, look at that. Yeah, we have some headliner issues and they just used push pins. Yeah like a quinceanera in here we're having a party in here okay but look at the let me move this out of the way see even the back seat leather looks good i like the tan too i really do it is really super comfortable split seats right there because it's an sec coupe let's see if she's going to start because it's been about a week okay let's see what she's going to do for us let her sit there and Come on. Come on. Okay, now, remember the video? I did un, uh, I did remove the oxygen sensor. That's why there's a grumble. Okay, she needs a new cat. Lots of my cars need new catalytic converters. She needs a little washer fluid right there. But the fuel tank thing, sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. Watch this, the economy gauge is a little backwards. Step on the gas. Yeah, and it goes backwards. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. <coughs> I really don't know why it does that. But I am loving this car. I really am loving this car. Does the steering wheel, see the steering wheel goes in and out. See? Which I love. I'll close the door and the seat belt will be presented. Present me the seat belt. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. I love it. All right, well, as long as I've been presented with my seatbelt, I guess 
I should probably go ahead and take her around the block and see what she's going to do. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation there. All right, let's take her around the block. All right, we're just going to take a quick little cruise, make sure that everything still works. Okay, I do need to replace that cat. I got to drive it to a, a muffler shop and see if they can fix that for me. But I love the car. I love driving in the car. I just need to be able to take her on the road. That is the big deal. Okay, she was stumbling horribly and not doing very much at all when you step on the gas, and that's because of the clogged cat. Now if you step on the gas, she's doing really well. I just gotta fix the fuel gauge too. Sometimes those get a little rusty. And then they don't work no more. All right, this is the 560 SEC. I have a newer version of this, the CL. We're gonna end the video with that. Okay, last but not least, CL500. I've had this car for a while. Used to have two, um, help somebody out. That car was in an accident, so I just have one. So anyway, this is it. This is the 500 of the CL. Yep, these are fun cars, but they're really complicated and they can be a pita to work on. So yeah, see this? Yeah, that's, that's new. Yay, yay for that. But it's an okay car, needs a transmission. So this car needs a transmission. I would show you, is it even open? Yep, Mike didn't even lock it. Okay, great, so this is the inside. Okay, lovely wood. I like the bigger radio. It needs to be cleaned. Okay, I've got lots of junk in here. I should probably hide all this junk anyway so it looks a little better. Okay, but this is the gentleman's car, the 500 CL. Once again, 194,000 miles. Lots and lots of miles on this one. And with that, it just turned off. <laughs> hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, getting ready to sign off for this video. I'm not showing off these things. It's not a big deal for me. But I've had some people ask me, what about the fleet? What about this car? What about that car? Hopefully you know where we kind of stand on uh, getting all these cars back on the road. The SEC, like I said, needs a cat. And even without the cat, as, I, as it warmed up, it still was a little sluggish. I barely made it to the parking lot, so there's a fuel delivery issue. What I think I'm going to do on that one is take some parts off of that and put on the SEL because it's the same year, the same motor. So what's that called? Rob Peter to pay Paul? Sunday school did pay off for Mike. Yeah, we're going to rob Peter to pay Paul. And we're going to see if we can get the SEL working because that's the closest uh, of the two to being road worthy 100% of the time. All right. Um, let me know what you think I should work on next. Should it be the Bummer Beamer? Should it be the BMW Coupe? Should it be the CL that needs a transmission? Uh, the ML is good to go. She's ready to go. Um, Millie, of course, is always good and is always ready to go. The... Um, S500 needs a transmission, and then the crisscross, the crisscross car needs to get that lower control arm thing fixed for that. So of all those cars, Mike has a lot to do. Yeah, Mike has a whole lot of work to do, and he's still trying to find a house so we can park the cars and work on the cars. So much to do, so little time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, a little bit different. Um, just answering what the people want. Give them what the people want. All right, everybody. Oh, and I completely forgot my newest, oldest car, the W108, the 280 SC. Here's a picture. Yeah, you know how much I love that car. Love, love, love it, but it's still in Oklahoma City, and I got to bring it up here to Tulsa sometime. So those are the cars. Those are the loves of all the girls I've loved before. Um, I think that's going to do it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Please subscribe. All right. I, I appreciate all these looks. I'm, I'm getting lots and lots of likes. I'm getting lots and lots of looks or eyeballs and lots and lots of views. I need to work on the subscription side of things. So, ooh, here. I need to, here. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. All right. This is Monkey Wrench Mike. I'm not looking his age anymore. Not at all. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.